What is up, everyone? Corn O'Keefe back yet again. And as the title implies, I'm bringing you once again another death battle prediction. Now, today I got a bunch of badasses with me, as you probably know. And today I have a new badass guest on the show. We have RJ Versus in the house. Say what's up. Hello, everybody. RJ Versus here. We got Captain Forrest back. Hey, what's up, guys? Captain Forrest. We got Infinite the Jackal King. Watch up, everyone. Infinite the Jackal King here. We got Instinct. Yo, what's poppin'? Instinct, Instinct of Doom back yet again. And we got Lord Kira himself. What's up, y'all? Lord Kira here. He's nuts. And. There might be a few more badasses joining later. Who knows? Sometimes they pop in. Sometimes they don't. Either way, we're bringing you a prediction for the next death battle on Shadow the Hedgehog, or the Edgehog, some might say, versus Ryuko. So, without further ado, Kira is going to talk about his future ex-wife, go over her stats. Infinite is going to talk about Shadow the Edgehog, and then the rest of us are going to come in and give our thoughts on who we think is going to take victory more often than not. So without further ado, Kira, there you go. All right. Okay, so now first thing is something that we also have to, to present in because depending on which version of Ryuko um, that Death Battle is going to use. Because this is actually very key and something that's actually very important to the match. So now, if they were to use the anime version, the anime version is pretty simple. You can get them to, like, they have some casual country-level stuff to moon level, to even planet level, and with some of their hacks. Um, um, they have some moon level stuff, to like planet stuff, and then also, um, they're actually very hacksy as well. It's like, um, for like Ryuko, she does have, I'm gonna just go over some basic stuff. She has immortality, regeneration, power null, stat, um, stat um, amplification, and even memory minute. So, um, and also um, blood minute, hair minute, and just a whole, and, um, and just a whole bunch of hacks in general, but something, but like when it comes to like the anime version, the anime version is really not as strong as the game version, which I am going to touch upon. But just like a couple more hacks that that the anime version does have is also empathetic minute, um, also mind manipulation, and, and even morality minute. If you don't know what morality manip is if you're like new to like versus debating or or the death battle morality manip is basically some is basically the power to like manipulate one's mor morality or righteous um right righteous mindset so basically changing basically changing the way um that their morals are so like basically like changing someone from like let's say for an example if someone has like a killing mindset to able to change that morality to make them super passive and not be able to wanting to fight so now we're gonna go and get into the anime i mean i mean not by bad the game version the game version of ryuko i'm gonna start off with power right away power right away you can easily get from ryuko to actually to multiversal plus and this comes from basically the life fibers being able to transcend time and space itself time and space which which i am going to be showing all the research in um, on the screen but basically um the life fibers life fibers themselves are able to distort the world and actually able to transcend time and space like right off the bat and also these life fibers actually exist in the past present and future in itself so and and basically in Ryuko when she was um fighting the the, the life fiber she was casually able to actually defeat them the life fiber in her super form. Another thing that comes into play is her hacks as well. It's like when it comes to her hacks, it's kind of like the anime version of itself of like all of, of what I said. But she also gains instinctive reaction. Um, during um, during her super form, being able to fight on pure instinct during during the fight with the life fighters, and also when it comes to to this, um, she also has some other um, abilities as well. It's like during this, she has absorption, so which um, so like anything that any character can like throw at her, she'll be able to absorb it and just amp herself um, during this fight. So actually, every hit that she's taking. 
she's actually gaining much more strength out of it. So um, that's that's some small stuff like for like um, Ryuko. And further down the line, I am going to add some more stuff as well. So Infinite can like talk about Shadow now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so starting off with Shadow, um, he has, um, he's considered as Sonic's rival in newest games with him and, and Shadow. Um, Sonic as has demonstrated universe level plus um, in different games. Uh, for starters, facing against Infinite, who created no space. Um, I made a video about the Infinite Power Scaling video. Um, not I was. Okay, so he also has another thing like um surviving like scaling like Sonic like time meters um existing race like destroying like one timeline he's tanked, which Shadow should scale. Even up to that point, even base Shadow um even bullies on um, this base Infinite who's um should be like the same tier not should be like the same unit level plus but not exactly the same like his other. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's basically it. Now, blowing my screw attack, that might have base shot, like, planet level to solar system. Now, he does have planet level stuff and solar system to an also star. Um, again, again, going what Death Battle is going to do, um, that might go with the finite stuff. Now, that's the base shadow. Now, going off with speed, um, there's a lot of finite calcs for, sc like, scaling, since Shadow does scale to base Sonic, up to and Sonic Forces. So, he has, like, uh, obviously, FTL for base, but if you want to go higher, um, he has Quadillion to trillions FTL from calcs, and, uh, and I think, I, and as I mentioned or said in my How Fast the Sonic video, I have um, shown that Sonic has infinite accessible to immeasurable speed. Again, you can check the video in the description below. Um, that's for base speed. For hacks, um, Kira will go over a little bit more about Shadow, but I'll go over some of those hacks I know. Um, he obviously has can use Chaos Control even without the Chaos Emote in Sonic Forces. And Shadow described it as he can freeze time, but it's also like statements that with chaos control, it can manipulate time and space. And the screen will show these consistent statements of chaos control do these things. So here you you, you can go over the other hacks of Shadow, including all right. Form. Um, um, all right. So um, then also that we also want to mention is that another uh, hacks for Shadow is that um, in Shadow and his base form do on um, the Sonic Chronicles. Um, he also has existence erasure, um, which he has, uh, which he has shown to do with the chaos rift, and also, um, and also with um, something that you also like to mention as well as like um, when it comes to shadows hacks and, and and his abilities, he also has like chaos emeralds, which is his part of his standard equipment, and and these chaos emeralds themselves also correlate with shadows hacks as well when it comes to like the chaos emeralds themselves having their own dimensions within them and, and their own properties as well. Um, then also Shadow also has like light manipulation. Um, he also has mind manipulation and he also has um, like different elemental attacks as well. And, and basically, um, and, and then also he has like different chaos abilities, which also have their own hacks as well when it comes to like, um, um, what is you know just overall just eat, um they they have like all the hacks that the chaos emeralds yeah. do have. Also, another thing I forgot to mention that he has resistant to mind control from like Black Doom. The given context, basically, Black Doom is Shadow's father, and basically he he has his blood and he mind control in the game, and Shadow resists that and stood and stood up to him. But it's not like like layered on my my resistant to mind hacks. So yeah, um, Kyo, you want to go over the super form? All right. Okay. So when it comes to the super form of of, of of Super Shadow, now this is something that we clearly clearly that we want to mention. So in the fight with with Solaris, this is something that is very key. Okay. Now, 
So in this fight, it was stated in a guidebook that Sonic himself could have defeated Solaris on his own. The only problem was is that Solaris existed in the past, present, and future due, um, you know, you know, due to needing help from Sonic and Silver. So now it's mentioned in the guidebook that Sonic himself could could easily defeat him. So now this also goes back to Shadow as well because in their super forms, um, Super Shadow and Super Sonic are equal because these both powers deriving from the Chaos Emeralds. Now also from now also from this as well. It's like even Shadow even said him, said, said himself, a super dimensional being, huh? This might be a fair fight. So and, and clearly, clearly in that mindset, Shadow already knew that he had more power and, and, and he could defeat him. So now, um, then also when it comes to like Super Shadow himself, Super, Sh um, Super Shadow can also um, use um, reality warping himself to to easily reality warp. Um, like any be um, it's, it's like he 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 reality warped um the bio lizard and 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 set him back um and, and basically re reality warped bio lizard and reality warped the moon back to its place and now um I'll let Infinite um say the rest um so so for other stuff and also I'll bring in corn as well to anything he has to say there's some minor things that I don't know if Death but I bring it up but in Sonic 06, Shadow Shadow has the IQ of two hundred. And that will be in the screen. Um, another thing to point out that his stamina overrides how long he can fight. But in the Sonic 06, um, again, will be shown in the screen that it was stated that he has lim he never gets tired because Dr. Um, basically his genes were altered to never get tired. So that's basically it. So All right. you got anything right else on. to say about, with, about Shadow? Yeah, um, just for like in terms of his ranges for his super form, we know he has consistent ranges from anywhere from low multiversal to normal multiversal uh, and even possibly multiversal plus. Now, the low multiversal stuff comes from, well, one of them is Solaris. It was actually verbatim stated that Solaris was capable of collapsing all timelines into nothing so this would include at bare minimum three different timelines bare minimum right there that's low multi however we also know this includes far more there's also the monogamy world now this world is actually shown and stated to contain the fourth dimension and within this world there are essentially countless other universes or dimensions within this dimension essentially and i will leave links down below in the description if you want to check that out for yourselves so yeah if we take this into account with this feat from solaris this would be full-on multiversal depending on how you argue it and now there's also other arguments from different sources that you could argue to be multi plus infinite, would you like to elaborate a little on the multi plus? Multi plus, I think I went on about the multi plus and super forms. Well, yeah, oh, uh, so multi plus that basically came from um, there was a draft sc script for Sonic 06. Um, that basically the Eggman said mentioned like infinite like timelines, and that will be sh showing you the screen if you also want the link of what the script is. Link, link. It will be in the description below right there. Yeah, and, was, and now yeah, we're not like it saying this is like literally a fact or anything, but we're just throwing it out because it is a possibility and it's something to take into consideration. But at bare minimum, the super forms are easily low multi to full on multiversal for super shadow. Now his speed easily immeasurable. I mean, heck, the super hedgehogs were keeping up with Solaris who transcends linear time itself and exist simultaneously throughout time. And yet they were still able to move swifter than some of his attacks and react to him right off the bat. We even have stuff from base Sonic running so fast that he was causing time to flow again. And this is, you know, base Sonic who obviously base shadow himself would be relative to. So this would just support that even more. And even if you don't think base shadow has immeasurable, right? 
at base to Super Shadow definitely does. Super Shadow clearly does keep up with a transcendent life form very casually and had no problem doing it. So with that out of the way, I think Captain Forrest might want to come in and give his thoughts, followed by RJ versus and then Instinct. Certainly. Yeah. So Shadow um, in base is pretty comparable to Sonic anyway. They've both swapped with each other so easily, like the speed. He should easily have immeasurable speed using the proper scaling. But if we're going off Death Battle standards, they'd probably only use like FTL or like MFTL or like finite speed scaling. Um, same thing for like Ryuko. Um, so if we just only talk about the anime, just like the standard like base Ryuko and like base Shadow, um, I just see like even if we like downgrade and go off like Death Battle's like way of doing things in terms of like the low balling scaling for both of them. I still think Shadow would take victory in that scenario more often than not. The Chaos Control is way too much. She doesn't have anything against the time manipulation. Uh, Shadow has a lot of hacks in terms of his Chaos uh, manipulation. He can imbue his attacks with Chaos. Uh, he can also use Chaos Spears. He can spam them and also just, uh, he could just um, impale Ryuko with a bunch of Chaos Spears and just decapitate her um, and just um, like override her healing factor. He also has Chaos Blast, which is an area of effect, so he could just vaporize her while she's frozen in time. So I just think he should just he just speed blitz in one shot. Um, but if we incorporate like all of all of her um, other forms, like including like the composite of the games, um, I feel like uh, Death Power will probably do this too. So they'll just incorporate all of their forms, including Shadows. Like um, this is Super Form too. Uh, yeah, I think like more often than not, like she has the AP more, like the the scaling in terms of multi plus, um, like. She just completely just beat Shadow. There's nothing Shadow can do. Uh, she transcends like time and space, so the Chaos Control won't do anything. Time Hacks won't do literally squat. Um, and pretty much she'd just be able to just use her hacks. She just use her hacks on Shadow. And even in his super form, like, yes, he's invulnerable, so nothing can happen, but obviously there's for a short amount of time. But once that form runs out, it's like it's GG no re. There's nothing like Shadow can do in that state. Um, so if they do, like, use, like, the game feats, um, with the, um, multiversal plus stuff, uh, she would definitely take victory, um, more often than not in that scenario. Uh, but if it's just strictly anime, like, I really don't see much she can do. Like, Shadow just has the AP advantage overall, um, especially, like, the uni, just, just standard base Shadow's, like, uni plus, and obviously with the other hacks. And, of course, he just share a lot of, like, um, Sonic's abilities, so like obviously, you know, spin dash, homing attacks, um, and uh, you know, shadow tornado. He can do all sorts. Um, he definitely shows a lot of uh, prowess in fights. But he, um, a lot of prowess in fights. Uh, he he mainly goes for hacks in character more, uh, than like skill. So he just overwhelming ca like in character with the hacks. So depending on the scenario and depending on what they use. Like, I'd see Shadow taking it more often than not, but if they do use, like, the the crazy sh the crazy stuff from the games, uh, the composite stuff, like the multi-plus stuff, then I really see Ryuko taking victory more often than not. So that's my thoughts. Oh, yeah, there's one thing I forgot to mention about the Shadow stuff. Um, um, a little thing. So first, um, Shadow's Chaos Speed can, like, nick the ability. And also, like, for Super Forms, the way how they can be harmed is either they can like negate um or bypass their positive energy or that or they have a higher AP advantage. So yeah, so yeah, that's all I gotta say about for shouting out. Alright, so I guess it's my turn. Um I actually agree a lot with with a lot of like Forrest with what Forrest was saying, but for the game version I feel like when they do use finite speed, they're going to get a way to get Shadow faster a lot easier than they would getting Ryuko faster than Shadow. And there's definitely a case to be made with, you know, her being stronger. I know that, 
I know that depending on the scaling, for the most part with the game, she probably is stronger. But again, this is Death Star we're talking about, so you know they probably will find a way to get Shadow strongest. And for the most part, yeah, for the most part, I do agree with what he was saying. And for B, they're definitely gonna have a hard time finding speed feats for Ryuko actually. Uh, not to call out uh, Tera that kind of didn't touch up on most of the speed stuff. Like, he did get the immeasurable part for um, for game Ryuko, but for canon Ryuko, you have mainly a lot of relativistic stuff. You can get her to like 75 to 79% of speed of light if you take Nonon's uh, sonic beams as being actual lasers and right. A lot of people might say, oh, but her whole thing is like sound based, so all of her stuff is just like to see the sound. Ha <laughs> ha, like, but you can clearly see that they're actual lasers. But uh, overall, I do think that, yeah, for the anime, you will more than likely see them has Shadow for the win, because it's more than likely that he's going to win, period. But for the game, I have a I have a bad feeling that they're probably still going to get Shadow to win, just based off of speed alone, and possibly not even really scaling the Uso properly in the game. Because we've seen that they're writers and everything, well, not really their writers, more so just like their researchers aren't as thorough as a lot of us power scalers are. They're like, not as too much of a knock on them, but like, kind of see that, truly. But, uh, for the most part, I do agree with what Forrest said, and for the games, again, sneaking suspicions, they're probably still going to have Shadow win. All right, Instinct, you ready? Well, well, last for me, I agree with everything with Force and Alice has said. Like with the speed thing, if they go with the fine calcs, Dev Bow is probably going to get a whale fit, and um, they going to like that. Like, because if they downplay either of them, then I don't know. But, but if they stick with, like, with, like, um, if they use like their measurable speeds, like higher higher than fine speed stuff, then I can see Shadow taking it more than not. But but like, and like, but if they use like like the gangs from for 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 Ryuko and her crazy stuff in there, then she could probably take it more than not. It depends on what version they use for her. That's my thoughts. Right on, right on. So I guess for me, um, and to add on a little more to the low multi stuff, you also have Supersonic, who Super Shadow scales to, also defeating Time Eater. And Time Eater is at bare minimum capable of destroying two universes at least. So, but yeah, like, so we also know, right, that Shadow in the super form as mentioned a few times that he scales to supersonic and to support the Solaris feet. We know supersonic beat time eater time eater himself is capable of at least destroying two universes bare minimum right again, right off the bat, a low multiversal feat. So you also have time wizard as well. Another low multiversal character, possibly multiversal, comparable to the Time Eater, and is able to stabilize timelines himself and universe. So, with that in mind, who I think would win more often than not? Well, I mean, again, if they do include the game stuff, I don't really scale Ryuko really at all, like game or anime, but just going off what the homies have said, you know, they scale her, they dabble in her, you know, yeah. I would say it sounds like the game stuff she might edge out in AP and a couple other categories possibly. Um, but if you just go with like 
the anime stuff strictly, then yeah, I would have to say Shadow, uh, who I scale more, I scale him obviously a little more. I would have to say he would probably take it more often than not, definitely, than Ryuko, if we're just doing it that way. So if that's the case, you know, Edgehog all day long, I'd have to say more often than not. But if they include everything for her, then, you know, just going off what I'm hearing here, right, possibly her. But again, it could go either way. And also, it could just depend on how, you know, Death Battle handles it. You know, either way, seems like a really unique idea in a sense. Really interesting, to say the least. So I'm looking forward to seeing this death battle. So anyone else want to give their thoughts before we head off? Yeah, sure. Um, because I forgot to also men I forgot to mention um some stuff as well and give my verdict of who I think will win. So like I also forgot to mention that uh, um, that the whole immeasurable speed for the game version of um of Ryuko is actually layered um immeasurable speed. It's actually layered because um because because the thing is because with the light with with the life fiber um you which I did mention it with uh, I did mention the multiversal plus stuff. She is actually far faster than the life fiber is. She's far faster. And and that's just something that's that's just something I wanted to point out. She is far faster. So um so so like right off the bat, she already got um a layer into immeasurable speed. And then also um for like uh, my verdict of who I think when I do agree with you know you know with everyone here about it depends on which version because like if they're gonna use the anime version alone. Then she's gonna easily just gonna get outsped and then existence erased and then it's GG. But when it comes to the game wise, game wise it's a completely different ballpark. I love Shadow and I've been scaling him a whole lot longer. But the thing is, Shadow does not have a chance at all. And plus, one of her hacks, like I mentioned, was the whole morality manip. Morality manip is very key because he's in this fight. She can just use her morality manip. And just calls Shadow not to want to fight anymore, or or, or 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 like to change his morals. So like, if Shadow is having like this bloodlusted, um, like like he's going in bloodlusted, then all she needs to do is just use her morality manip and completely change that, and completely make him powerless. And then also, and also for each hit she takes, she's becoming much more stronger than that. But and then also, I just want to mention one more thing. You know, like um. You guys, if you guys want to skip this part, but so I'm just gonna end up saying that. But overall, I think game version of Ryuko should win, and then if they're using anime version only, then then Shadow is gonna win, and that's my verdict. Right on. Anyone else? I pretty much agree with everyone said. Can't wait for the fight. I hope they don't downplay Shadow. I hope they give him more justice. <laughs> Just make him at least FTL for the benefit of the doubt, death battle, please. But yeah. Yeah, I just hope both characters get justice. And we all hope you all badasses out there watching this enjoy this. All right, so we hope y'all have a blessed day. Peace. He's nuts.